This is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 34 of the Space Marine Thunderfire Cannon tutorial. Let's start by uh, moving this down here, copying. Alright, select all of this, and change it to view, bring it over, rotate it 180 degrees, get rid of this too. Move it over a bit more, just until it's about equal. Right there looks good. Um, all right. Next, link these um, bolts to this little base there. Select the base, effect pivot only, align to there. Rotate, turn angle snap off. Make sure that's off too and just rotate it down a bit. Okay, local, move this up a bit more. And let's grab this and just move it out. Scale it up a bit as well. Maybe a bit up. Alright, that looks pretty good. Just to add a bit of variety, we're going to ring this, connect twice, here, ring, polygons, bevel. Local normal, we'll just bevel it slightly inward. Just to break it up a bit. Okay, gray material. Trying to change the default to gray just for a little bit. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, um, let's see here. Select this and attach all these objects right here. Right, effect pivot only, align to the big cylinder. Then like before, rotate 90 degrees. Oops, make sure angle snap is on. So A 90 three rotations. And look at that. We have some little hinge things. Alright, um, I probably should clean up this, but let me see here. Mm. I'm just trying to figure out where's, where's the best place to put this. I think it's fine there for now. Yeah, it's fine. Alright, next we're going to have a cylinder right on top here. Like so. Um, six sides, effect it only, align to the big um, cylinder. Alright. Um, turn angle snap off here, and just rotate it till it's right in the center. It doesn't have to be perfect. And try giving it 19 copies. Probably not enough, but... Alright. Nine more. There we go. Looks good. <coughs> Alright. Next, let's work on this front section here. This is going to be a lot of beveling, I guess, so let's go from the side. First, we're going to want to bevel it outward a bit. Inset it. A 
1.2. Do another quick inward bevel there. Um, extrude inward a bit. Maybe about that much. And let me pause it for a second to get my references up. Alright, um, let's bring this forward actually a bit. Give it another quick inward bevel. And let's build a cylinder about that big, 18 sides. We should go from the back here for a second. Um, well, it's actually the front, but I just want to do some spacing here. I'm not using angle, snap, angle snaps right now because I just want to make sure that this is all right, and that's actually relatively good. So, convert to editable poly, and just bevel it in, I guess. Inset. Bevel in. Okay. And just extrude right back. Okay. Next, select the edges here. Ring. Connect. Move the connection down a bit. There, ring, select the polygons, extrude in the local normal, um, extrude them twice, make the second one a bit bigger. Okay, select those, ring, select the polygon, extrude. Um, you want to extrude it out just a bit, and then select both the edges here, uh, loop, and give those a quick chamfer, just to round things off there. Um, next, select uh, the verts here, and just bring them out. Alright, I'm going to select the other ones too. Alright, that looks pretty good. Actually, I think I'm going to ring these here. Oops. Ring, select the polygons, and just move them in a bit just to give it the impression of a thicker barrel. Um, Alright, that looks decent. So, select this polygon and drag it out. Um, clone to its own object. Okay. Uh, select it. Just like the end over here and cap, and then just drag that back a bit. Right to about here. Okay. Um next go into the back view. Alright, select both those objects, affect it only, align. Affect it only, align. Um, that'll be it for part 34. I'll see you in part 35.